Amen. 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 I think we're in a good place. Yes. 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 Amen. So we encourage Dave as he comes to bring the word of God to us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I just want to share a little bit about myself first, a little testimony of where I've where I've been and where I've come from really. Um, before I before I got saved, I don't know, I don't know if you all know about my test, but I had a horrific stammer yes. to the point of where I could not speak yeah. at all. Yeah. I, uh, when I used to go down the street, I used to stand behind my mum because yeah. I just couldn't say anything. Yeah. In that also, I went through a time of depression, low esteem, and come to a point of suicidal. Mm. But I met the Christ. Yeah. 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 I met the Christ. Yeah. And I always remember the day that I was in a flat in Ville, mm. ready to do the worst thing. Yeah. The knock on the door came. And that was Elijah. Mm -hmm. And he came to share with me the gospel. Right. And that is why I'm so much into sharing the gospel yeah. now. It's a, it's a part of me. It's the promises. That's that's as that is the promises. That what he was um, inside the word uh, that he gave me. I remember one promise that he gave me when I uh, uh, when I got saved. Mom was, you know, that by my stripes you will be healed. Something. Yeah. Now the reason I'm saying that is right because I because because uh, uh, with my stammer was the first. Epilepsy was the second. Mm -hmm. I had a severe bout of epilepsy, I remember. and there was no way that, that man could do anything. But God's promise mm -hmm. went straight in my heart, and I knew that if I held on to that promise, that God was going to do something, mm -hmm. even to the point I'm still having epilepsy, I was biting my tongue, I was not mental. God said, No. By my stripes, you are healed. And I kept on quoting that as a promise, even though the, I kept on quoting and quoting and quoting. And it came to the day that God met. God supplied that promise. And I keep on telling people today, whatever promise that God has laid on your heart, whatever promises that God has given you, whether it's five years ago, ten years ago, hold on to it. Because God will bring it forth. It took me 30 years before I came to this point. I held on to the promise of God. And God will supply. If you think of... I mean, I was to a point where, if you think about me having a stammer, but God, as I said, he, he gave me that thing. The pro and, also, and it says, you know, that all the promises of God, yes and amen, all promises. And through that, it was that even that God had put me in a situation where now I do a food bank alongside with Alan Jeanette. I go on mission to Africa. I would never, ever, ever be in that position where I could even say anything that might go to Africa. I was in a position where I would never, ever leave my comfort zone because I felt the statin was my comfort zone, as Pastor John used to tell me. But I, but I stepped over that barrier. I knew I had to step over because God had said, God had said to me, he said to me years and years ago what was going to happen for me and I held on to that. And you know, and so in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. <coughs> I was a person that did not trust in God. I leaned on man. And I'm quite openly and honest to say, that I, that I used to go and see this guy here 40 times or so, I just but when God met me, yes. he touched my heart. Mm. I knew I didn't, I didn't, I, I'm not saying I didn't need this guy, a brilliant guy, but the source mm. of your promises and your trust yes. at this yes. moment yes. comes from God alone. Yes. He is the source yes. of yes. everything. Yes. We cannot do anything with it 
read that at the time. And, it's, and it, he was tempted with this, let us hold fast mm. to the confession of the hope with that waving. Now, we looked at yeah. waving, and it's to err uh, wobble. <laughs> we wobble a bit. Mm. Just like the sea going to and forward, back and forth. Mm. If we don't hold on to what God has said and we waver, it'll never come to pass. That's we've got I mean. to stand it, we've got to get hold of it. Yes. And we've got to hold it tightly. Yes. It's just like you get hold of it, just like, a, 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 just like a, 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 to get hold of it, like a doorknob. You hold on to it. You want that door to close. You won't let it go because it's the same with the Word of God. You get hold of that Word of God. This is something that God showed that if we read it, Yes. We live it. Yes. We breathe it. Mm. Yes. Eat it. Sleep it. Mm. Constantly. Yes. Constantly living in the word. Reading the word. Yes. Eating it all day. Amen. All the time. So what is the definition of promise? It is an assurance that one will do something or particularly a thing will happen. Once again, it's an assurance. Isn't it good that we have an assurance? Yes. Some yes. people don't give us any assurance about anything. They waver and they say, well, you know, it might happen or it, this might happen. The word of God is not like that. When God promises something, it's an assurance. Yes. In where I work, in, in, like in uh, where I work, people in there, they, they just strive on the assurance. They strive on hope. Mm. They want that. Mm. So if you go alongside it and you and you and, and you give them that assurance so <clears throat> that what they want will happen, mm. yeah, it gives them that hope and it makes them feel better. Yeah. It makes them look. It makes their morning, their afternoon, a lot better. Mm -hmm. oh, when I took this guy to a football match, it was like, "Are you gonna, really going to take me?" I had to assure him. I said, "Yeah, don't, I will take you." And when he actually got in that car, he knew that I meant what I was saying. Yeah. It was an assurance for him in his life that he was going to do something. Yeah. And that changed his it changed his afternoon. He enjoyed himself. He come back absolutely fantastic. It was you know, so that's what you've got to do. You know, the word of God is so much like that. Yeah, and as John was saying before, in Hebrews saying five, he says that I will never leave you. Or forsake you, and that, that mm. to me, that was another great thing for me, because in, in my life, people have always done that to me. Mm. I've been in a position, you know, when God, when people have said to me, you know, you know, um, they've just left me basically. This, you know, they've just, but God's not like that. Man. No, it's faithful. You know, God, when He says something. He holds on to it. He is so faithful that he will that he stands with you. He sits with you. He sleeps by you. He talks with you. He covers you. Head. He's, he's above you. He's beside you both. He's underneath you. He covers you with his love because that's what God is. He never ever fails. He always, always says what he wants because it's biblical yeah mm -hmm. oh, boy. <coughs> and this was some of that that some of really spoke to me was the three guys in the bible i can never mm -hmm. remember their names um mishi yeah, yeah. 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 with the three yeah. that's when the when they were going to work they would not worship god mm -hmm. Mm. So Pharaoh was going to put him into the fire because mm. of But God was that faithful that when he was in the fire, mm. he appeared. Yeah. Mm. And when they opened that furnace, a furnace, and they were there, all rings holding mm. Because God said, I will never leave you. Yeah. 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 Come on, I will never leave you. Yeah. I'll be with you, even through the toughest times. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you are going through, God's going to be with you. Mm. Even if you're financial state, mm. your health state, yes. even when you're crying to him for your family to get saved, he's there with yes. you. Yes. God is so good. I just, you know, Thank you, Lord. 
This is something that God showed me in the scripture here from the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand. God showed me. He showed me. He, he showed me his hand reaching out to me. Yes. And that hand where you were saying, get hold of my hand. Yes. Let me lead you. Yes. That scripture there, for God takes your, hold of your right hand and says, for you to do not fear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the times when I was thinking, God says, come on, you know, just get hold of my hand. Yeah. Let me lead you. Let me lead you down a new path. Yeah. 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 It's so exciting to know that God is even, it's, you know, the promises that, that is there is, is so outstanding for me. In Deuteronomy 31, 8, that the Lord himself before you I will be uh, uh, with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Yes. He yes. gives you strength to the weary. Increase the power mm. of every of the, the weak. Okay. No weapon forms against you will prevail. You will you will refute every tongue accuser because of you. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Yeah. And this is their vindication for me, declares the Lord. I can keep on the spirit of the Lord. The sovereign has become. And this is the spirit of the Lord has anointed me upon it again. Yes. Yes. He has anointed you people. Yes. To anoint you to do the yes. works. Yes. To proclaim good news to the poor. Yes. That's what we do in the food bank. Yes. Proclaim the news. Good news of God to the yes. poor. Yes. Uh, there's plenty of people there that need hope. Yes. We are anointed. To do that. Yes. Every time I go past a person, I always think to myself, if I don't share the gospel, where's that person going? Mm-hmm. That is so laid on my heart. Yes. That is that is that is something that God has spoke to me so much and He's impressed it yes. onto me and saying, Look, don't pass anybody. Yes. Whatever they are. Mm-hmm. Even if it's somebody sitting on the side of the street mm-hmm. and they have, oh I don't want to go near them. They stink. <laughs> Just make it think. They're still a person. Yes. Mm-hmm. But God's anointed you to do it. Mm-hmm. Even if you say, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. That's no excuse. God has anointed you. Yes. The anointing of God rests upon your shoulders. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's anointed, he's anointed you to, to, to do all that he wants you to do. Mm-hmm. Another one. If you lack wisdom. Does anybody lack wisdom? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if, you lack, if you lack wisdom, I do. Many times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it says, ask God. Mm-hmm. And he'll give you wisdom. That's right. Mm-hmm. Promise. Mm-hmm. Can you see all the promises? Over 33,000 promises in the Bible. Mm-hmm. All for us. Mm-hmm. We just need to get all of them. Yeah. Read them. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah. Sleep it. Yeah. Breathe it. Yeah. Take it to bed. Take it to bed. <coughs> Read it. The wisdom of God. <laughs> I'll tell you, and there's another promise now. When God, when I was in a position when, as you see, I was, I thought I'd never ever have and be able to. To have work, drive, even have a wife, I thought it was impossible for me because of where I was from. <laughs> Stamming. Oh dear me. What did God do? He gave he, he healed me to have a car. I'm a psycho support worker. <laughs> and then he gave me a beautiful wife. And God and God the other because these are things that God promised me. Yes. Yes. He may promise you something different, yes. but God always, he, what he said, he does. Yeah. And for God to do that to me, he said to me, well, this, my wife will be from a different church. Yes. She'll have an S on it. Yes. <laughs> from a different church. And, that was, and I thought, and I was thinking, my wife, what's going on? This, is, this is happening. And I remember going to Calvary and who was there? Sarah from the Baptist Church, <laughs> and I remember, I remember, and I remember her saying to me, oh, "I can't, can't you, Dave." I said, "Why? Because you smoke." 
<laughs> and I remember, I remember going to, and I remember going down this conference in in um, Unify in '88. And I said, right, God, I want that. I I want Sarah. And he said, well, you know, you go down, give up the facts. You go down, <laughs> you get paid for, <laughs> and those facts will go. So what do I do? I won't go down. <laughs> Pastor Benny in touch with my head. Never smoked sin. Come back to your daily hard day. I said, too late. I'm not smoking anymore. <laughs> God, isn't he absolutely amazing? Yes, he is. He, is. <laughs> he, is bless, he, he blesses and he blesses and he blesses all the time. I tell you, absolutely brilliant. But uh, I tell you one thing, you know, God doesn't just, just promise them, he promises the Holy Spirit. Mm. He promises his joy. Yeah. When we're down and we're, we're depressed, God gives his joy. Yes. Yeah. It's a promise. Yeah. You know? When we're sick, God heals us. Yeah. Whatever it promises, promises, promises. I keep on. This is some of God we look. Yeah, promises. Keep on at these promises. Mm-hmm. Proclaim them every single second of the day, because God will answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's brilliant. Right? And for me, you know. <coughs> the biggest thing for me, you know. Was that you know that God did something for me a couple of years ago that I've always struggled with? Was I never had a father experience? But God touched me about three or four years ago. And he said to me, I'm your father. Amen. Thank you. When everybody else in church was going, Father, I'm going to go to my father. Yeah. I couldn't, I, I just couldn't grasp that. Because yeah. I didn't have a father. Yeah. Yeah. But every time he's touched me now, yes. I go to my father. Yeah. Yeah. And I ask, Father, yeah. every time I pray, I say, Father. Yeah. Whatever problems I say, Father. I come before you and I ask you. And God never, ever, ever fails. Thank you, Lord. Never, ever fails. So I just want to encourage you tonight, you know. Whatever promise that God has supplied you in your life, get hold of it. Read it. Breathe it. Sleep it. Live it. Because I can tell you, God will never fail. Never. But I just share my heart with you tonight. I just want to tell you, you know, what God has given me. I just wanted to give to you. And I just pray for what I've said. Will affect your hearts. Will pierce your hearts. And you will go out of this place different. Because God promises are always for you. He never never, ever fails. Because I'm a witness to that. I'm a living witness to that. And I'll always proclaim God as my Father. Lord. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Amen.